This is a game called Miglorn. Uh, it's a game about... You're going to laugh at me. It's a game about building a Viking fort and surviving a horde of zombies every night. Yes, it's a zombie game. And yes, I, I know I have a... Uh, I, I know what you all think about my zombie games. But this one looks pretty cool, okay? Look at this. Look. I forgot to update the link in chat, too. Wait, let me just update the link really quick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, God. I'm a bad streamer. Um, so, yeah, this game is interesting because you can pick up the axe, and you can mine things, and then if your statue is destroyed, you lose the game, and you prepare your defenses. You, you, you kill living creatures that gain favor, Pray to the gods and we get upgrades. So, it's a survival game that <laughs> it's a, it's it's a survival game where you can have people that fight for you. So people that fight for you, and where you can find things uh, around the map to build your base to defend your little. Statue every single night. It's a it's 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 basically stronghold. It's stronghold if it was a fantasy genre game and not a weird take on a vaguely feels like a vaguely historical time period that isn't really real but also feels real enough that you kind of can't help but feel like it, maybe it was real in some way. This game is also very very quiet. I I, I don't know why, but there's a little timer. And then you just need to figure out how to build your base quick, quick enough before you get killed. And when I saw this, I was like, oh shit, this is our jam. I know that's funny to say because like, I always say that. That's just somebody's voice. That is just somebody's voice. I know I always say that. That these games are always kind of our jam. But really though, it kind of is. So now we can make a uh, wood pickaxe. Sure, five and five. God damn it! And there's something interesting about survival games in general that I really enjoy. This music. Do you hear it? I can't hear it. It's a hundred percent volume. <laughs> I'm going insane. It's like it's like. There are games that are too quiet, and then there are games that are too loud. And this is a game that's too quiet when you want it to be a bit louder. I feel like I'm going crazy here. It's funny to know that there's different types of games that feel like different types of things. And it's so funny to me that, like, there's no sense of st stability among the, vol among the various volumes. Even within the game itself, there's so many games that, like, feel way too loud versus way too quiet. And... To be fair, levels are hard to like deal with, so it's hard to do, but it's just funny. I don't know, it's just it's just very funny. Locked in demo. Come to ask gods for the favor. Uh can create I can house one small follower. Here we go. I want to house a follower. Yes. Oh heck yes. Followers need food to be happy and to work, so make sure you build a pantry and keep it filled with food. Oh fuck. I need, I need to build a pantry? What? Pantry. Don't let them go hungry. Unlocks the gatherer job. I can't hear anything. What happened to the volume? <laughs> okay, sign follows do specific jobs in the bottom right corner. Oh. So he's a so he's an unassigned worker. I'm gonna make him gather food. Oh, <laughs> you see what I mean? Okay, now we're cooking, chat. Now you understand what we're playing here. Alright, so we get people now. I'm going to get more followers. We need way more followers. Oh, yeah. This is it. What's crazy is that it's almost time for us to defend the base, and I don't know if we, 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 we will. I'm just taking my time to build a group of people. To have people. But it's a great concept. It's, it's sort of the best of both worlds for a game like Stronghold. Because you play a game like Stronghold and you realize that you really don't want to play the RTS portion. Like, the RTS portion of the game is decent. But it's not at all fun. It, like, it really doesn't matter to me how the game is meant to be played. 
Like, I don't look at Stronghold and then I, like, go, oh, this is a great OTS game. I look at Stronghold and I go, I just want to play a tower defense game with more involvement with the environment. And so many different games like Stronghold go too far in the RTS route. And I'm like, why? Like, just, just give me the ability to play the game and just do nothing. You know what I mean? Like, just play a very basic game, if that makes sense. Don't need to deal with all this. Berry farmers continue to spawn berry bushes. Like, I don't have to deal with, like, uh, figuring out where to place units to maximize certain things. Like, no. Uh, or, 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 like, I don't have to deal with, like, you know, controlling my character to do, or, like, controlling units to move them around certain things efficiently. Like, I just, I want to, I want to plan the meta portions of the, uh, of the game, specifically the defense portions. I want to play the game like a defense game. Oh my god. Defend the capital! I'm gonna die. They killed one home. They killed one home. Bit late for the walls, but it's fine. Um, there's no offense tools. I have no offense tools. All right, well, that, that's unfortunate. So the workers are kind of useless at the moment, but I'm sure they'll get better over time. Uh, but that was a bit of a disaster. I don't even know where my worker went. I think he just fucked off. This is such a quiet game. Why is the game so fucking quiet? <laughs> like, what happened to the volume of the game? <laughs> I love demos so much because demos, like you really don't know what you're gonna get, yet, right? Like a de like a demo is it's 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 gonna feel like oh no, what's going on? What's this? There's like a stuck UI element too. But demos always feel like it's very hit or miss. Like you don't really know if you're gonna get something that's like solid or if, or if you're gonna get something that's like still cooking. And boy, oh boy, is this, is this thing still cooking? It's really cooking here. Cooking, cooking hard, actually. But it's not bad. It's actually like a very interesting game to play. It's just very um finicky, to say the least. Very finicky. Sorry. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. But it's weird how it hits the notes that you kind of want to hit. Like, you, you really just want to play a game that's about controlling the, the, the macro of your base. And it's always been my main complaint of Stronghold, is that it's so much of an RTS. Which isn't bad, but like, I really don't want to play an RTS. I just want to play a game that lets me build fucking defenses and keep people away from me. Which is apparently what that one game that we found is like, but it is interesting. So Berry House can do that. We need to build a furnace. Sure. And change stone to iron. I'm hoping that this tree gets a bit faster. It feels like you don't have enough time in 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 a day to do things too. Time goes by very, very quickly in this game. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just it's so quiet that I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> I don't know. You know what it is? I realize the power of sound. Sound is so useful in so many different ways because it adds such a level of... Uh, it adds such a good amount of feedback to what you're doing. Without sound, you, you like it's really hard to know what the hell is, like, is like going on. Okay, so let's get some iron, I guess. Sure. We'll build the uh, berry farmhouse. Continuously spawn berry bushes. Sure. Okay. Maybe maybe it does have some flaws. I will say it takes a long time to really start to mine things. Like this this is a very slow amount. It reminds me a lot of um those types of games where you're 
progressing very slowly and then you slowly build up your like place like what's that game where you're on like a, a weird island doing that stuff I get the name of it but very similar vibe we also need the we, need the, we have no pantry oh shit the pantry died oops I suppose that's why he wasn't doing anything. There you go. You want some food? Eat some food, buddy. Go, eat some food. Oh, yeah. You labor, and yet you say you don't want to work because you just can't eat. Here we go. Logging station, mining station. Okay, here we go. Now we get a bit more things, and we have some offense. Archery job. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We need more iron. Oh shit, it's already day two. Fast. It's very fast. You know what? Because I can't hear fucking anything. Here, you, you want some music chat? Like, uh, I, 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 I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy. I feel like I'm going insane. Let's, let's get some like hardcore music in here. VOD viewers will have no clue. I, I, remind me to kill this after. But I can't hear anything. There's like no noise. It's it's so weird how like quiet this game is. It's so funny actually. Oh, how about this? We'll we'll go for something relaxing. There. Maybe it's a bit too relaxing. I don't know. What's the zombies? Uh, we need one more iron. It's, it's not being cooked. I need one more iron. We need to make a bow and some feathers. Here we go. Here, here, here. Skeletons, come here. Give me little shits. Come on. Hey, leave me, leave me, leave it, leave, leave it alone! Holy moly, that guy's huge. This guy is serious. This guy means business. I don't do enough damage. Is the game supposed to be this hard when you start out? I, I feel like this is insanely hard. I feel like the difficulty scaling is nuts. Like, I, I, I'm being demolished here. I'm gonna lose everything. The walls do help to keep them busy. Stop it. Oh my god, they're gonna kill my dude. Oh my god, they're gonna kill my dude. Fuck! You're here? You're still here. I don't know about this one. The difficulty feels like it scales way too hard. Like, way too hard. And it goes fucking fast. And like, you do not have the tools to go any faster. Like, you... You cannot go any faster than you would have before. Like, you're absolutely boned. Just going super fucking slow. And honestly, I, I feel myself falling asleep because, like, there's... It's such a relaxing game, but it's, like, you're not supposed to fall asleep. But I feel like I'm falling asleep because there's no feedback in, in, like, what I'm doing. It, it's just pure silence. What a weird fucking game. <laughs> what a weird fucking game. I love it. I, I need your feathers, hurry. I need 10. We need a bunch of villagers. We need to get a shit ton of villagers. We need defense. I think we build production later because I can't defend this myself. I, I need fighters. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Fuck off. Fuck off. Collect. Okay, good. Do this. Do this. Okay, now we need to make a bow. How the hell do you make a bow? Two wood. We, we we need more feathers. And uh, oh my god, I hate these slimes. Fuck off, please. Oh, the combat is so laborious, so as to be awful. There is sort of a point where the combat becomes way unfun, and I think this is the point where it becomes very unfun. It's very hard to want to interface with the combat. 
Because it's so laborious. I feel like this is absurd amount of little damage I'm I'm like doing here. I need a weapon. It's such a funny noise too. Okay, build a bow. Not that shit. There we go. Good. Put the bow. All right, good. You are now an archer. Uh, I need more houses. Okay, now we need some more houses. More tents. Way more tents. We need berries and bushes. Between the berries and the bushes. The problem too is that because the enemies come from everywhere and there's no way to pre predict where they, where they come from. You need to build like a giant massive wall to protect yourself. But that's hard to do. Because how, how, how do you protect yourself against an, an enemy that you can't even be, be, begin to like track, right? Like it, it was very difficult. And again, it's just very laborious to do everything. And the time goes by so fast, and the enemies get stronger and stronger. Like, scaling-wise, I feel like I'm... Um, you know what it is? It's too... It suffers from this one problem that I find this genre of games always hits. If you don't play your first couple of rounds perfectly, you'll always behind. You'll always be behind for your later rounds, trying to catch up, and you'll never be able to. It's a very genre-specific problem too, that is primarily in the form or, or primarily shows itself in in the games that have um, these elements. This one type of element of gameplay where it's like you're in like a round system. Because how defenses feel like they go in, in like rounds or in waves, right? If you're behind in your earlier waves, you're always behind in your in your later waves too. It's a hard balance to get because like you like you can't avoid having to have some level of skill to play the game, right? But it it feels like it's it's it leans too much towards you have to be perfect. Like, I don't know if I want, want to be perfect. Making walls is so fucking annoying, too. <laughs> Just keep this menu open. Make it so it doesn't close every time I click. Make it so I, I have to right-click to cancel. So you can go, FUCKING WALL! Oh my fucking god. Okay, come on, archers. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Archers. Where the fuck are you guys? Archers, come back home. I need help. C hold the base. Steady. Uh, I I I'm going to close the gate. That'll surely help us. We have six archers. If I die here, there's no helping it. I was too far behind to even survive. Oh, fuck. They're coming. Okay, that's not the angle that I expected them to, uh, to come from. Fire! Yo, it's working! It's chat, it's working. The archers are totally doing it. They're doing it! <laughs> We're holding! Warfare! Kill them all! Yes! Kill them, go, 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 go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. Saved. Uh, go, go, go back to work. We are a laboring society. You must continue working. You are not allowed to just not do work. We need more defenses. I do want a ballista or a warrior, but I need weapons for myself. So maybe we also need logging stations. I need to do a lot more. Where we need a lot more people. Uh, we can double the houses by doing what? Ten stone and ten wood to get two followers per house. That's a lot harder to get than this. So let me get some iron to upgrade my my tools. How much iron do I need to upgrade my uh, tools? Two. Okay, we'll get logging station. And chopping station. I think chopping. I, I think mining station is super important. Why did the music get so fucking intense? <laughs> it's like the game knew we're like the the, uh, the game knew that we've now achieved a new goal, that we are now in a stronger. We're now in a better a better place now. Leave me the. Fuck alone, I'm begging you, can't you leave me alone? I'm gonna interact with you. Uh, Statue of Freya creates, it's not available in the, the demo. Why is it full? Okay. 
A stone infused with Jorvan magic that regenerates. Uh huh. Heals nearby players. Oh. Wait! Infinitely mining stone! Oh my god. It's the infinite stone. Okay. We have the we we have the infinite stone. We have the ability to have an infinite stone that we can keep on mining. We can make that afterwards and assign a bunch of people to mine it for the rest of their their lives. I love capitalism. But this game is good. It just has a bit of weird volume issues. I have no clue what happened to the game sounds. Um music is completely dead empty. Uh gameplay is nice. It really goes fast though. Like it, it, it there's no there's no delay between when you start something and when you when the shit hits the fan. And it, it, it's just a it's just a hard part of the genre to solve. Of how do you make a game that doesn't force you to play perfectly from the first round. Because then you won't fall behind. And it's very it's a it's a problem that touches every single game no matter what the genre is, right? Or rather it's any game that has a sort of back and forth pull and some 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 uh, some competitive element, um, like say Le uh, like a MOBA. In a MOBA, if you fall behind, like you are behind, and yet the, a MOBA has no overlap with, with this, at least not as much as you would think. So it's like, why would a MOBA and like this have such similar effects? It's because of the way that it works. It's just the way that it goes. That you know, if you fall behind in one, you fall behind forever in those games. But it's the same problem here, too. It's just hard to fix. And honestly, it does feel way too laborious to mine things. Like, I, 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 it takes too long. I feel like it just... It'll be a bit faster. Just a little bit faster. You know, give you some more... Like, get, get to the fun bits sooner. Okay, get, uh, get to mining. Let's go. We need mining. You took my fucking items, you pieces of shit. I crafted extra for you fucks. <laughs> but it is hard to really get into this game because of the lack of anything it feels very very empty it's weird how empty it sounds um i really don't know what happened but if they solve that this could be a very interesting game if they just tuned everything a bit lower it feels like a very hardcore experience and it's weird because it's like you because you look at this game and you think okay it's not gonna be that hardcore but no it's actually very very hardcore but the concert works it's very um interesting I feel like our demos today have gone pretty much all over the place. <laughs> I think our demos have been everywhere. Oh no, what is this? I can't interact with it. Okay, good. Okay, now two of you do do that. Okay, good. Now we need more homes. Okay, shit. Everyone come back. We need archers. I need more archers, please. I'm, I, I, I'm begging you. We need more archers. Stop closing the fucking menu when I build something. Please, I'm begging you. Please. There's some other RTS things too that doesn't really show, like the berry windmill farm thing. How far does it build the berries? Like how, how far does it spawn the like, berries? It doesn't tell you. So you kind of have to guess the radius of when it spawns berries, which is annoying because it's like, I'd rather the game just tell me and, and then there's no guesswork in it. Where are my people? Where are my, where are, where are my people? Don't tell me they're gone. What happened to them? Where are they? Where are they? I'm gonna lose because all of my NPCs left me. Are you kidding me? Well, that's a good stopping point. Uh, thanks for watching this mining game. What's it, what's it called again? I actually don't remember. Miglorn. Um, it's got issues. It's got issues. What game doesn't have issues? But why don't they just teleport back to you immediately when you change their job? 
I don't know why you have to wait for them to walk back from wherever they are. I don't know why it's so hard to get started in the game. It's really, really difficult to get started in the game. Everything feels like it's way too strong and takes too long to like do stuff. And then, you know, when you fall behind, again, because it's a very competitive sort of type of game, where you're, but you're not competing against a person, you're competing against an environment. If you're not fast enough or you don't do things perfectly from the beginning, you kind of suffer from it forever for the entire playthrough. Um, and it sucks because it's like, oh, it, it, it then becomes a matter of knowing what the game is and playing to the game's, uh, what you would call it? Like gaming the system and playing the game in a very meta sense, knowing what to do about the game, that then gets you the most progress. But you can't learn on the job necessarily. And it doesn't feel good to restart the game because it's not like a roguelike. You lose all your progress. So it kind of has the worst of both worlds where you need to have the knowledge to be able to succeed well because you need to play perfectly from the beginning. to not fall behind. Because when you fall behind, the later waves start to scale way too hard, so you start to lose. And then, because you lose everything when you restart, you have to restart the entire game. And because it takes so long to do things, by the time you get back to where you are, you spend half an hour and you've only built like maybe a couple things. So it takes forever to like bake stuff. It takes forever to do things. And so there's no satisfying noises in, in the music. But it's close. Again, it's close. It's, it's like 80... All these demos are 80% of the way there. It's just... You wish they could get over that 20% hurdle to finally make something that... It's like, man, like... Because you want to see the rest of it go. And you want to see what they have to offer. If they could execute on their vision fully. It's so close. So, so close.